Morning nation. It is 10 to 10. If you know what that is, that's 9.50. It's 10 minutes to 10 or 10 to 10. Um, we had a bit of a storm, windstorm, slash whatever it was. Cloudy as a motherfucker today. And, uh, yeah, when weather can't make up its mind whether or not it wants to rain or not. That's skin. And today is definitely a fat day. Where do I start? Well, it started off a hard night slash early morning. And then I went to uh, brush my teeth. And as I was brushing my teeth, one of my one of my toes literally just started hurting really bad for some reason. I looked in the mirror and I pulled back oh, my, my, my thing. And then I my gum was extremely swollen which is usually a sign of an infection. So, the infection's gone now, because I, I mean, I was so tired, I just had to sleep, and yes, I slept through the pain, which is what I normally do, I normally sleep through pain anyway. If you don't know much about me, guys, I am constantly in pain. Um, upper neck, um, C, C2, C3, from an accident, my wrists, my knees, my ankles, um, my hips, my fingers from arthritis, my elbows from arthritis, um, now my jaw. I also suffer from um, killer, a, a, a ketone migraine. A ketone is um, is. Um, it's an electrolyte imbalance in the body. That's what most migraines start off from, is a, um, an electrolyte imbalance. So you just sip a Gatorade. You know, close your eyes, uh, calm down any external uh, uh, senses, light, sound, things like that, and just sip a Gatorade for like 10, 20 minutes, and you'll feel that the migraine uh, uh, doesn't go away, but it subsides because that's your neurons in your brain uh, um, finally getting the ketone electrolytes to fire the synapses. But Cobra, how do you know this? I know it because I almost became a neurosurgeon. Not many people know this, but I actually spent some time in medical school. And I almost became a uh, neurosurgeon. That, that was the field of specialty I wanted to go into, was neurosurgery. Most notably, uh, soldiers who had uh, um, issues with um, detached, detached, uh, detached limb syndrome. Um, what that means is it's a soldier who's lost an arm or a leg and yet he can still feel it. A ghost limb, if you will. Uh, also uh, to help soldiers suffering with PTSD, things like that. It's why I go to the PTSD counseling sessions. I do suffer from PTSD. Um, but uh, I wanted to, to go to figure out if there was an internal problem with it. Like if there was a, if there was just something wrong wired with your brain from the beginning, you know? Because I look at the, the veterans of World War II and the things they did. I look at veterans of, of Vietnam and Korea where uh, PTSD first started. Um, and then you look at the Gulf War. And you look at Afghanistan. Then you look at Iraq, Iran. You know, you look at those, those other places. And... God forbid you got the poor bastards that served in Northern Ireland, you know? Or the Falklands War incident, you know? 
England's had its fair share of, 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 of traumatic battles. I should know my dad was in the forecast. He, he came home and he just wasn't the same. Sorry guys, just, I miss my dad. I think some of you guys in the nation would have loved my dad. He was the straightest shooter you'd ever meet. If he thought you were chatting utter bollocks, and I mean like, out the side of your fucking neck, you know, couldn't tell the difference between your asshole and your mouth hole, he would literally tell you that. He'd look you square in the face and say, you, shut the fuck up, you shit chatting piece of crap. <laughs> oh God, you fucking poser or some, some other unbenign things like that, you know. I miss him. I could use some of his advice right about now, guys. I really could. Um, but yeah. Well, today is Monday, which means I'm going live on Twitch today. I'm just not sure if whether or not I want to do a creative stream where I'm painting miniatures. Uh, because don't forget, guys, we've still got uh, 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 the Cult of Cobra uh, uh, Space Marines chapter to uh, whatnot, and we do have that miniature I did strip. We do have that stripped min. Oh, sorry, we do have that stripped miniature, um, which I'm going to be doing a, some recording on here today in a bit on uh, stripping the miniature and things like that, and how you can get away with it and and things like that. So I look forward to seeing that uh, on the modeling channel. I do have some other footage of me doing some airbrushing, but my airbrush clogged halfway through it, and most of the video is me trying to get rid of a, a clog in my uh, airbrush, uh, simply because my compressor is my compressor is dying, if not dead already. I've just I've got to get a new one, and uh, I did see one on eBay for about sixty bucks, so I might add that as a donation goal. Uh, up on the stream, so uh, yay! But yeah, that, that's that's what I got going for me. So yay! I should have the donations set up properly for the credit cards sorted out here by by today's stream too. Um, sorry I'm distracted guys it's not that it's that this early or anything it's just the fact that I had some really weird dreams last night last night I dreamt that knock on wood I dreamt I was in a car accident and I ended up crippled ambulance and I ended up crippled and disfigured and, and whatnot and I couldn't use my right hand properly anymore and well I'm a live streamer so I'm a live streamer I need my my left and my right hand my legs not so much but my left and right hand I do need this isn't the first time I've had this dream I think this is like the fifth or sixth time and my sister Michelle She's a firm believer in what you dream comes true, and I hope to God this never comes true. I really do. And then I had another dream that I was in a, a, a plane crash. I had finally gotten my, my plane home. And as we were descending to come into land there was an issue with the hydraulics on one of the wings and only one wing was actually listening to the cockpit and the plane started to lean really really badly to the right and the pilot tried to overcorrect and um, it was too low and couldn't pull up and we ended up wing slapping the ground not really hard, like BAM! 
and, and I remember it vividly because I look out the window and I literally see what's left of the right wing fly away. And the only words out my that I could only think of was, Molly, please forgive me. And I woke up sweating and crying. Sorry guys, just... Trying to get the day started, you know what I mean? Trying to get the motor running, trying to get the engine firing on all cylinders, and... Here's what it is guys, here's what it is. I'm going to love you and leave you here. Coffee's done, which means this vlog's done. I will see you all Wednesday with another Coffee Time Recover. Hopefully a more cheerful one. Maybe, maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be a hard day. Until then, guys, keep your sheriff's flying, keep your enemies dying, and I'll see you later on on Twitch. Adios.